Welcome back, Coin Roll Hunters. Thanks for joining me, Matthew, the great Coin Roll Hunter, on another awesome Coin Roll Hunt out of this epic quest, this $500 box of quarters. So, uh, yes, it's going to be awesome. So, uh, before we get into it today, I've got another Coin Party favor shout out. This one's going out to T Square Talk. Thank you for uh, supporting the channel and uh, joining me on the uh, Coin Roll Party. It's kind of a uh, undeclared, unofficial uh, coin party there on Roll 46 uh, while we were hunting our half dollars. I'll leave a link below to the Coin Roll Party and to T-Square Talk. Uh, check out his channel. Just really cool content. He does uh, some uh, gold and silver giveaways as well as uh, he's, doing, uh, he's going through the uh, State Quarter series as well. So after you're done watching this video, check him out. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So uh, we've got another quarter roll here. Um, we'll be searching for a few things, actually. Um, if you want to find out the uh, full comprehensive list, I'll leave a link below to the uh, list video where we actually break the seal on this $500 box. And uh, yeah, we'll just, uh, I don't know, we'll just see where it goes. So um, we're looking for just a quick overview here. Um, we're looking for uh, anything that's uh, an obsolete coinage, which uh, I haven't said this before, but uh, will be actually <laughs> 1932 and older. So that's going to include the uh, Standing Liberty quarters and the Barber quarters, uh, which are just older designs that, uh, here, let me get out of the way, um, that we are not used to seeing in circulation. So... Uh, to go along with that, we're looking for uh, coins 19, uh, let's see, I forgot already, 1943 and older, which will have a 90% silver content, and that is what we're looking for now. Um, we check the edges on these coin rolls because uh, that silver content turns gray to black as it tarnishes. The modern day coins are a, uh, called a copper clad. And it's got this uh, copper band. Um, it doesn't look like we've got any silver. But the clad coins, you can see here, they got this uh, copper band between uh, two uh, nickel copper alloy sandwiched layers. That gives the uh, quarter that silver appearance. So uh, this one's from uh, Connecticut, not on our list. But yeah, that's a clad coin. So uh, unfortunately, we struck out on silver again. But uh, not to worry because... Uh, we're also looking for error coins. Now these have been probably some of the more fun uh, quarters to look for. One of these is, uh, we're also looking for uh, birds on the state quarters. And uh, the first one we just pulled right here, this uh, Pennsylvania. If I can get my camera to cooperate here. All right, so this Pennsylvania quarter made the bird list because at the uh, end of the staff there, Oh man, this uh, I can see that focus is going to be an issue today. <laughs> okay, at the end of the staff here, we have got a, uh, looks like an eagle or something. There we go. Nope, doesn't want to behave. Okay, so we've got an eagle on the staff. There you go, there it is. Um, and so that made the birding list. We're also looking for birds in the 50 state quarter program. So... Um, yeah, so in addition to silver, in addition to obsolete coinage, um, we're looking for birds. Any state quarter with a bird on it, um, which will be, let's see here, we've got a list. <laughs> Pennsylvania, South Carolina, Louisiana, Arkansas, Maine, California, Minnesota, South Dakota, Idaho, and Oklahoma. So, those will be our bird list. Um, then on our error coins, we've actually had a few awesome opportunities, but, uh, we are looking for the 2004 Denver, Wisconsin. Uh, we're looking for the, uh, 2005 Philadelphia. Uh, this one's got a bird here. Sorry, going back to Maine. We've got some birds off the bow there. We'll put that one aside. So we got Pennsylvania and we got Maine. Back to our, uh, error coins. Um, 2005 Philadelphia, Kansas is actually the one that we're still looking for. 
um, as that one, uh, we haven't had a chance to really uh, search for that particular error coin. So uh, these actually look like we got a lot of older coins. Here's a bicentennial. That's pretty interesting. Um, really common coin, actually. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll also be looking for a 1999 Delaware, a 2008 Arizona, and a 2006 Colorado. Okay, so I think that uh, got the whole list out there. I'm really surprised at how many uh, older coins, um, as far as the uh, pre-50 state quarter program, we're finding in this particular role. So here's a nice Illinois quarter, not on our list. All right. So we are halfway through our roll here. Now these are coming out of, uh, let's see, Harper's Ferry. I think these are the uh, territories. Oh, we got a bird here. This one's actually from the uh, State Park Series, which we're currently still in, as uh, this is 2017. 1968, pretty old, but not old enough. We're looking for 1964 and older. Mount Rushmore, part of the... Uh, Park series. Okay, so we are just cruising right along here. Sorry, I'm just uh, <laughs> getting back in the swing of things. Here is a Kansas. All right, so are we made in Philadelphia, Denver? Okay, well, I'll use it as an example for the, uh, de the, uh, the Philadelphia, Kansas state quarter has a uh, what we call a filled die error. And what happened is some grease got into the uh, letter T there in trust. And in, uh, in God we trust there, and it says in God we rust because the uh, the grease inside the tea prevented the uh, planchette from filling that uh, the letter T. So that's the error there. This is of course another uh, bird coin here, Idaho. Um, we've actually covered Idaho, and I'll leave a link below for that particular video. But uh, we'll put it aside for now. Show it in the recap. Okay, so we got Virginia, not on the list. Uh, this is a 1985. So it looks like we've got some older coins in this box. So uh, Hawaii, very cool. No birds, though. And uh, sorry, I'm just getting distracted. Probably making this kind of difficult for you guys. But, uh, ooh, that one's a pretty messed up New Hampshire that one's seen some circulation at the bottom of a sewer or something. <laughs> anyway, 1989. Yeah, I, I, there might still be a chance that we find some silver in this. We're hardly in it. So, And Kentucky, not on the list. Okay, so that was roll number 10. Um, and we just kind of, uh, we got three birds in that roll. So I'm going to lay them out here for you. So we've got, uh, this is that uh, Idaho State Quarter. Uh, this is actually a peregrine falcon on this uh, particular quarter. Then uh, the first one we found, the Pennsylvania. We've got uh, what appears like some sort of eagle on the staff. And uh, we haven't gone into that one yet. And then, of course, Maine. We've got some birds on the bow. And uh, this one seems pretty common as well, but we haven't gone into that one either. So... Um, excluding the uh, Peregrine Falcon out of our Idaho State Quarter. Um, which one shall we do for our big money adventure tomorrow? Uh, we do big money every other day. I think I'm going to tackle this Pennsylvania Quarter here. As you can see, we've got that bird on the staff. So, oh, of course I'd have to lose the focus there. All right, so that will be on uh, our next episode of Big Money. So we can mark off another bird off of our uh, birding list. So uh, thank you for joining me. If you're new to the show and you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell because you're not going to want to miss another episode of Coin Roll Hunting or another episode of Big Money where we take our favorite coins and currency and put them under the microscope. That'll be tomorrow. So uh, thank you for joining me. Like the video, share it with your friends, and uh, ask your questions in the comments below. So until I see you tomorrow, this has been Matthew, the great coin roll hunter, wishing you happy hunting.